The show will not go on. Organizers of the controversial Pornotopia canceled the porn festival after they say the city basically shut them down this year. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live downtown where the event was supposed to start tomorrow. That's right, the Sunshine Theater right behind me was supposed to host Pornotopia 2010. But organizers say the city tried to make the event R-rated. It felt like a witch hunt. Pornotopia director Mady Fricker is turned off by the city's crackdown. In October, the city banned adult films from the event that has been held at the Gildan Knob Hill for the past three years because that neighborhood isn't zoned for pornography. The film festival shows offbeat and artsy pornos. This year, Pornotopia was going to move locations and change formats. We put together another show um, called Pornotopia Censored that was supposed to be a celebration of free speech. The plan was to add a burlesque show and drag queens. Fricker says the city sent a letter to the Sunshine Theater this week reminding them to watch it. Pornotopia can have live shows, but it can't emphasize even partial nudity for an extended period of time. We didn't feel like it was safe to do the show, um, the totally legal show, um, as planned. A city zoning spokesperson says two zoning officers would have been the judge of what was acceptable and legal. Fricker says the law is just too broad. It's so unclear um, that it's up to somebody's discretion. Like, we can't craft a show based on what we what maybe somebody may think of it. There was talk of moving the event underground or to someone's house, but Fricker says that defeats the purpose. People deserve to um, go visit these spaces without shame, you know. Isn't that the purpose of this event? The whole purpose of the event is to celebrate sexuality. Now, the city did offer up locations that were zoned for Pornotopia, but those locations were in warehouses or industrial parks, and Pornotopia organizers say they were just too far out of the way. Back to you. All right, Ian. Now, Pornotopia says it will continue to work with the city to try to figure out an alternative for next year. E